Hey, hey you, already forgotten? Don't you have the password? Password. password. Of course. <laughs> Would I be without Orsi? I would be out there fighting with all the others, even to be able to make a presentation, let alone get my first order. Orsi and I, what a perfect team! A rack system as such is not particularly exciting, but combined with my commitment and the service I offer, Orsi guarantees success. Before we had Orsi, everything here was a mess. It's hard to believe that now. No room for anything. And the customer, of course, was always annoyed. He kept saying his warehouse was too small. When Orsi came, he suddenly had space. Apart from that, you couldn't find anything in the past. There were quite a few treasures lying around which nobody knew about. And on the other hand, there was always something they had run out of. I did away with all these problems with the help of Orsi. I look after the rack, clean it, make sure that the right products are always in stock, and that no valuable storage space is wasted. A lot of work? Well, not that much, but one thing is clear, it's work that pays off 120%. And who is lucky enough to have all that? Free access to the warehouse. I don't have to discuss every single order. I don't need to haggle over every price. Orsi automatically generates sales, an above average markup factor, and maybe the most important thing, long-term customer loyalty. Yes, Orsi customers are loyal. A colleague of mine from Spain confirmed this only recently. At the beginning, when Orsi is new to the customers, they continue to have relations with other suppliers for some time and by other brands. But that's getting less and less. They start to appreciate the advantages of Orsi and become truly loyal customers. And later, they have got so used to Orsi that it seems almost impossible for them to work without it. They do not want to do without Orsi anymore. I'd even say they somehow depend on it. As a sales rep, I also have a psychological advantage. Our competition doesn't even try to attack us with low prices, and nobody dares to put his products on our racks. 40% higher sales with Orsi customers, a statistic that none of the Vert sales reps can ignore. Those who do not use Orsi are to blame, that's all I can say. With the help of Orsi, I become the main supplier, sometimes even the only supplier of my customer. I am thinking of my colleague Milan from Prague, for instance. I definitely generate higher sales with Orsi, and the system is usually extended. That's what I have experienced. The customers start off with one tower, then comes the second, the third. It is continuously growing. Sales have to go up. Cleanliness, reliability, speed. These are the strengths which become tangible for my customers only through Orsi. You see, since he came, the warehouse has always been fully equipped. This is the way it has to be. I used to fritter away a lot of time with tough price negotiations. Now it's not only me, but also my customer who can save this time. So every now and then, you have some 15 minutes left to present a special new product, most of the time successfully. This is a big Aussie customer. But I also have enough small customers who are keen on Orsi. Their potential is not so little anymore if I manage to attract as much of it as I can with the help of Orsi. Seemingly average customers suddenly generate enormous sales. To be honest, <laughs> at the beginning I did not really know how to whet my customers' appetite for Orsi. I learned the best arguments from experienced colleagues. Usually, you start your conversation with the customer with standard topics. You go with him in the warehouse, and I may say, it's a little chaotic in here, we need to tidy up a bit, quite a few boxes. You need to take this opportunity immediately and talk about the Aussie concept. 
My tactics, I take interested people with me to an Aussie customer and show them how it works. I tell them to take a look at it and to talk to the people about their experience, and in most cases that has been the decisive factor. When the customer mentions that he has too little space, then I say, yes, of course, I can understand that, but it's especially the lack of space that is a good argument for Aussie. You will gain space through it. As you can see, each box has its space. In this case, we reduced a three-meter rack to one and a half meters. When planning the Aussie, it is important to personally talk to the boss. In the end, he is the one who invests and pays. He is the one who actually pays our invoices. I need to convince the boss of the advantage he has when he strengthens the ties with the Wurt company and show him that it all makes sense. And in the end, the boss is the one who signs the contracts that we negotiate with each other. As a consequence, he is the first and the last to be contacted. Apart from that, there is a great deal of material. The win cards, the brochures, a film, sample boards, and quite a few convincing references. Despite all these fantastic tools, the personal conversation will be the decisive factor for the success of Orsi. Talking to everyone involved, the warehouse worker, the purchasing agent, the master, but above all, the boss. Reaching clear agreements, giving individual advice and underlining the advantages on both sides. And above all, don't be scared. Orsi is vert territory. The customer will understand that. Competitors' products do not have a place in the Orsi rack. Quand on arrive effectivement à l'emplacement d'Orsi et puis qu'on voit des produits de la concurrence. Well, when you find competitors' products in the Orsi rack, you are obviously not happy. Of course, you are not going to throw them away immediately. You must be diplomatic. I make a little joke and say that the product will disappear into thin air simply because the Orsi concept is incompatible with this non-Vuot product. En osmose avec le produit, quoi. But usually, the philosophy behind the Aussie system has been explained to the customer in great detail, so that he understands very well that such an alien product does not belong in this concept. And the customer must see what we do for him, putting everything in order, cleaning, labeling, showing initiative, planning. As I said before, it is not about the rack as such, but about the overall service. That is why we talk about the Aussie system and not just about a rack. Even I, as the boss, can find everything in my warehouse at once. Apart from that, my purchasing processes have also been streamlined. Long negotiations, very fine delivery notes and invoices, replenishing, keeping an eye on the stock. All this used to waste a lot of time in the past. There's an amazing study which proves that an average handicraft business can save 3,000 euros in handling costs each year. That's convincing. So I don't really care if a pack of screws costs a few cents more. The service makes up for that anyway. I fully agree. Of course, I would never take advantage of my customer's confidence. When I come to the conclusion that he might need further Aussie elements, I tell him very openly. I would also tell him if he had an oversized Aussie rack. Being honest, straightforward and reliable. That pays off and turns your Aussie customers into even more loyal customers. It is simply incredible what advantages I have through Aussie. I am in here generating sales almost automatically. Our competitors outside go to great pains fighting for every single order. Aussie is brilliant.